Yeah, yeah, I'll get that truck moving. <laughs> anyway, it looks like the Tan have heard rumors that we're going to be attacking them. Though they know that inside that little uh, Tan truck is us. Seeing in the Tan truck is a great idea. See, even the game says so. And look at that, Tan paint. <laughs> But it says, don't get too close to them. At the end of this video, I'll explain all of my previous attempts at this game to figure out what too close means. Uh, basically, this is a sneaking mission. Uh, so you'll be using your bayonet, for the most part, till the very end. And also, you were given uh, three explosives. And uh, if you plant one explosive, you have a 30 second timer to kill, to use the rest of the explosives. Now he dropped some submachine gun for you, but it's kind of a game trap. If you play your cards right, you won't really be needing it. Let's wait for this guy to go walk by. And I failed there, and got spotted and died. Damn well. Anyway, like I said, this has been the th this is the, my third attempt at this, so um, I'm not going to get around with it. I'm just going to get the thing done. Uh, pretty much, you can walk, you can run, doesn't matter as long as you don't see them. Uh, anything like this, you can just kind of sneak up on and jab with the with the uh, bayonet here. Sometimes it takes two hits. Uh, but like I said, you can either walk around or whatnot. Now this guy here is a little tricky. You have to be a little bit patient with him. Uh, if you charge him up to him right now, uh, there's a jeep over there and another guy there, and they'll just totally pwn you. So you have to, have to kind of wait for that other guy to walk around and patrol and then hit him at, at a different spot. Or you can just bypass him entirely. That's up to you. But it's generally a good idea to just take him out when you can. And he's taking too long. I don't know where. Oh, it looks like he spotted me before I even had a chance to. And the Jeep just utterly pwned me. Let's try this again. See? Now he's going this way. So we'll just walk this way and bypass him entirely. No stress, no fuss. Now, in each one of these directions, uh, there's a, there'll be a guy in patrol of each silo, and there'll just be one guy. He just he just walks back and forth, and I was too close, so I got spotted and splat. So let's try this behind the barrels. Hopefully, he doesn't notice me this time. See, that's what the test runs were for: was to figure out how close is too close. And the game is a little loosely defining that. So we'll just go ahead and walk up, stab them. Now, you can plant the demo now and rush to those last two spots in 30 seconds. And like I said, each one has its own guy peeking out of it, as you can see there, giving you some undue stress doing it that way. Or you can just take each one of these guys out and then plant your demo. The timed mission part only starts when you plant your demo, your first demo. So you have some time to play around, goof around with stuff. Now there's some vehicles up ahead, and that's for a later part. And that'll be after we've exploded the uh, demos. I mean, exploded these here rockets that we've been hearing about for the past three acts, three, four acts. As you notice, there's a uh, truck, there's uh, some motorcycles. Now we've planted our time, we've planted our uh, TNT, and here's our timer. Notice we have to do this in 30 seconds. That gives you 10 seconds to plant one charge on each rocket here before you go totally fail. And if you fail this part, you have to do the mission over again. And we planted it with nine seconds to spare, so let's get the heck out of here. And once those TNT gets, explodes off, all the enemies aggro, and uh, it says good job, soldier, because we cleared all the rockets at the same time. Uh-oh, but it looks like there's a hidden uh, mobile launcher we have to stop. 
See, that's what I told you about that motorbike part. <laughs> Means we're not done here yet. And as you can see, we just totally got pwned by the Jeep behind us. Means we have to play it smart and roll around and use some natural obstacles. They give you a walkie talkie there for some unknown reason. And unfortunately, motorbike controls can be iffy. And motorbike controls can be iffy. <laughs> And motorbike controls can be iffy. Move, motorbike, move. See, so won't even let us pick that up. So we can't call it in or anything. Anyway, lost your target, we lose. And like I said, motorbike controls can be iffy, if I haven't stressed that enough. So now we're finally on the road, after so many tries. And we have to shoot the Jeeps. And then we have to pick up this rocket launcher, run into the wall, and water bike controls can be iffy. Meaning we spent so much time trying to get it set up so we can drive again, we lost our target. So we have to do this all over again. 3DO, again, wherever your better tasters were, they weren't playing the shuffle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and now this time they're, they're giving us four Jeeps to face rather than two Jeeps. How, how nice of them. This time we hit it just right. So we'll go ahead and just pound those cheeps there. Being careful. And we'll take the upper route here. Pick up some more bazookas. Take out that guy. And now we're at the mobile launcher. Come on you. Gotcha. And there we go. Now to show you what not to do in this mission. Step one, don't approach this Jeep. The Jeep gives you aggro and instant death. Don't approach the Jeep. Just to reiterate this, don't approach the Jeep or it'll kill you. See? And again, don't approach the Jeep or it'll kill you. Now here's the other thing that's weird about uh, Sarge's Heroes line, even the air combat line, is, okay, here, we've turned ourselves into a tan. Theoretically. Now, according to air combat rules, that would make us be one of them. We, uh, it's one of the missions you have to drop a crayon on a battleship and on those green sailors running across on up this tan battleship. Hence the reference. Also, in a few missions, if you drop into a vat of tan, you are turned tan or something, and it gives you an insta-death. But yet here, it wants you to, to drop, jump into the tan plate. In fact, this and one other game actually lets you be in a tan uniform. Anyway, I plant the TNT there to show you what the epic fail is if you don't plant the TNT right. And there you go. There is all... Uh, plenty of examples of epic fail of what not to do in this mission. So this is Kiki signing out. Uh, later. And I hope you enjoyed my fail. Oh yeah, and also don't deal with this guy. He's pointless. He just stands there like a dummy and he aggros. Anyway, later.